Welcome back to day 11 of the 31 Days of Horror series. Today we're diving into the insane, gory, and downright batshit world of Reanimator. One particle of unitanium has a nuclear reaction with a flux capacitor. Carry the two, changing its atomic isotoner into a radioactive spider. Fuck you, science! If you haven't seen this movie, buckle up. It's not your typical horror flick. It's got zombies, mad science, and just the right amount of 80s weirdness to make you question your life choices. The film is based on H.P. Lovecraft's novella, Herbert West's Reanimator, but don't expect the cosmic horror vibes he's known for. Instead, this movie takes Lovecraft's tale of a mad scientist obsessed with conquering death and cranks up the insanity. Sure, the story is still about bringing the dead back to life, but this adaptation goes heavy on the splatter comedy and doesn't take itself too seriously. It's like somebody mashed up Frankenstein with a splatter comedy, then sprinkled in a dose of what the fuck for good measure. This isn't just horror. It's a horror party where the line between oh gross and that's hilarious is blurred beyond recognition. The plot centers around Herbert West, played by Jeffrey Combs, who's a mad scientist with an obsession for bringing back the dead to life. And I'm not talking about your average CPR techniques. West uses a glowing green serum that looks like it came straight out of a radioactive grave or was hanging around the Ninja Turtles. One of them spoke. Pizza! Pizza! The guy is committed to his work, and by committed, I mean he's got no problem crossing every ethical line in the book. He's reanimating corpses like it's a hobby, and things go from bad to worse when he starts experimenting on actual people. Now, the effects? Oh man, the effects. They're practical, they're gruesome, and they're over the top in the best possible way. You've got decapitated heads that still talk, bodies that are still way too flexible for being dead, and enough blood to fill a kiddie pool. It's horror, but it's fun. It's the kind of movie where you can be grossed out and laughing at the same time, which is a pretty rare vibe to pull off. But Reanimator isn't just about gore. It's about pushing boundaries and not giving a damn about what's normal in horror. It's got that rebellious punk rock energy flipping off the rules while drenching you in fake blood. And then there's Jeffrey Combs as Herbert West. This guy is perfect as the mad scientist, who's just a little too excited about his reanimation serum. He plays it straight in a world that's completely insane, and that's what makes it work. He's dead serious about bringing people back from the dead, even if the result is a literal shit show. If you're tired of horror films that stick to the same old formula, Reanimator is a breath of fresh, blood-soaked air. It's a cult classic for a reason, because it doesn't just entertain, it challenges what horror can be. So grab some popcorn and maybe a barf bag and give this one a watch. What the hell is that? Thanks again for watching and be sure to check back tomorrow for the next installment in the 31 Days of Horror series.